guys, welcome to another episode of Jean Jacket and Unironed White T-Shirt. My name is Mariah Carey and today we are going to be creating one of the most iconic tables of the 21st century. That's right, we're creating Captain Picard's Captain Chair from the hit movie Harry Potter and the Lord of the Rings. So let's get started. We're making the Iron Throne from Game of Thrones. I just like saying a lot of nonsense. Now to create this cake, I am using two 10 inch square cakes. I'm using my Funko Iron Throne as a template, so this is the shape you want. Just place it on top and cut out the shape using a paring knife. Now the reason I love Game of Thrones so much is because of Sansa Stark. I just think she's gonna be a force to be reckoned with in this next season. Her life was tragic, so sad. I'm reliving some really uncomfortable scenes right now. <laughs> but what she did to Littlefinger in the last season. Oh god, that was good. I'm curious, who is your favorite character in the show? I'm going to stack my cake with vanilla buttercream in the middle. I should use other flavors of buttercream, but I don't have any imagination when it comes to recipes. Cakes on the other hand, I have no problem coming up with things. I'm layering on four layers of cake, but I had to cut it down to three. Originally I wanted to create this huge throne, but then I realized that the back of this throne will not fit in my itty bitty apartment sized fridge. So you can create a four layer throne cake, but if you have a small fridge, then you can only create a three layer. I gave my cake a crumb coat even before I started to carve it because I was doing this at like 12 o'clock at night on Wednesday and on Thursday I was going to Disneyland. And I don't know if you know this, but at Disneyland they serve alcohol now. So I wasn't gonna get back to this cake until Friday, Friday night. I didn't want any of the edges of the cake to get dry, so that's why I crumb coated it to make sure that they would stay moist. Once I got back, I started to carve the Iron Throne shape. It's kind of like an upside down trapezoid. Or I guess a right side up trapezoid. Then I took off the fourth layer of cake because I had to make it smaller. So sad, this could have been a humongous cake. But no, Fridge, you gotta be small. So I gotta make everything smaller. And then I add some cake scraps just to create the armrests. Now the back of this chair is going to need a lot of support. It's gonna be made of fondant, a lot of fondant. So I'm using two PVC pipes and I'm just gluing them to my cake board with some hot glue. I'm making room with another PVC pipe in my cake so that I can just slide my PVC pipes in between the back of my cake. And with a little bit of buttercream magic, you can't even see them. Now besides Sansa, I also love the dragons. Who doesn't love the dragons? We've seen them grow up right before our eyes on TV. They were just tiny little legs and then they were eating goats. Now they're eating people and then they're dying. And then they're coming back to life. Wow. We've seen them live a, an entire full life. And then some. I was debating on whether or not I should turn one of the dragons into a cake. Would you like to see that? I'm curious. Once I finished with that cake, I started to work on the back of my chair. I rolled out some gray fondant and I just cut out the shape of the Iron Throne back. Very generic. You can't even tell it's the back of the Iron Throne. But when it's covered with a whole bunch of fondant swords, You'll see it. I'm just gonna wet it with some magic sauce and add two dowels to the sides. I'm gonna plunge these dowels into my PVC pipe to hold it up. Then I covered it with another piece of fondant. I added CMC to this fondant so that it would get extremely hard and usually I would wait probably like a day before I lift it up so that all of the fondant can get like rock hard. But I was very impatient. <laughs> so this was the technique I used. I turned my oven on to 450 degrees and when it reached the temperature of 450 degrees, I turned it off, okay? Turn it off, remember to turn it off. Grab my fondant piece, I placed it into the oven and I let the temperature just go down to zero. And by the time it's at room temperature, it'll stand on its own. Now I covered my entire cake with gray fondant and I just use a fondant smoothen outer, smoothener outer, sorry. Let me, the correct term is smoothener outer. 
to get the perfect shape. You can see from this that this has a ton of swords on it. And I created a whole bunch of them out of fondant, but I didn't want to have to create that much. So what I decided to do is take some fondant tools and just score the bottom of the cake. Just making it look like there's piles of swords underneath when in actuality there's just one layer of fondant. I'm still going to layer a ton of fondant on top of this, but not as much now. And when the back of my iron throne was at room temperature, I took it out of the oven and put it into my PVC pipe and started to add all of the swords on the back of the chair. Do you know how many swords I had to cut for this? More than I wanted to. There were a lot of strips of fondant to create the back of this chair. So much so that while I was cutting and pasting this onto the back of the chair, I was able to watch two movies on Netflix. The first was I Am Legend and the second was The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Starring America Ferreira, Amblin, Amber, Amber, Tamblin, Alexis Bledel, and Blake Lively. It's about this pair of jeans that magically fits these four friends perfectly. They've all got different body types, but it, it just like fits on all of them like it was made for them. I was curious about like, I wonder if that actually works if like all jeans are like that. So I went into my sister's room and I tried on a pair of her jeans and they did not fit me. Layers and rolls just spilling out of places I didn't even know they could spill out of. More muffin top than I think my mirror was able to handle. Now on the back of the throne, the swords in the middle are all of the handles. So I cut the tips of the swords and just created little handles using some fondant. Now this part was even more terrible because all of the handles you see me applying to this piece of fondant, I had to redo. I didn't like how realistic they looked in the end, so I pulled them all off and redid every single handle. Things I do to try to achieve a perfect cake. Now just like the back of the throne, I did the exact same thing with the bottom of the cake. I just applied strips of grey fondant to mimic the swords. I kind of messed up because originally I was following the pattern on my Funko toy, but when I looked the iron thrown up on Google Images, the pattern was different. So I tried to course correct as much as possible, but it was hard because they were all stuck on with magic sauce. But it's okay, because it looks pretty cool. Once I finished with all of my fondant pieces, it was time to start painting. Now usually I like to use silver luster dust, but the silver I had looks too realistic. It looks too clean. So I decided to go with Wilton's Color Mist. It has a nice silver coat, but it's not as shiny as my luster dust. So I covered my entire cake with a silver coat of color mist. And then I used black color mist to highlight different parts of the cake. So where the back of the throne meets the seat, the sides, and some of the edges as well. And then I sprayed on another coat of silver color mist. Because the second coat of silver color mist was so general, like I sprayed everything didn't look realistic enough, so I went back with a little bit of black food coloring and some magic sauce and painted each handle. The black food coloring was really diluted, so it kind of just fell into all of the crevices of all of the handles. Made it look so realistic, because then each individual handle, instead of looking just like fondant that you placed on a cake, it actually looked like a sword that you plunged into the throne. And voila, my iron throne was complete. I love this cake. I'm so glad I didn't give up on it. You have no idea. When I realized how many swords I was gonna have to cut out of fondant, I was like, I don't know if this is gonna be worth it. Is it? Is it gonna look as cool as it needs to look? Cause I don't wanna put in the work if it's not. But it did. The spikes at the top of the throne look incredible. They look so dangerous. I love all of the handles I created. They look so much more realistic than the original ones I placed on. And the layering of the silver black and silver color mist gives this such an authentic look. It doesn't look like cake, it looks like something you can actually sit on. And make sure you hit that notification button so you can see all of the videos I produce as soon as they come out. Let me know in the comments what other cakes you'd like to see me create and I will see you very soon. Peace!